So do you want to know some fantastic neighborhoods? If you're a working professional, then in today's video, we're going to be highlighting five neighborhoods you definitely should check out. Today I'm in Notting Hill, which definitely tops our list. You know, this neighborhood became famous from the movie, which starred Julia Roberts and Hugh Grant, but it is loved not just by professionals, but by families, by old people, young people, and what's not to love? We are in a quintessential classic Mew Street, which just shows the beauty of Notting Hill. And for young professionals, this is a fantastic neighborhood to live in. Why? Because it's a zone one location with great transportation transport on the edge of Hyde Park and Kensington Gardens, but you have so much choice to live in Notting Hill. You've got some bohemian vibes as well as stately, beautiful, grand architecture, and you have these beautiful little streets like this fantastic kind of a muse street, which you've got these old classic muse properties in the midst of the noise and hustle and bustle. What's also great about Notting Hill is the fantastic restaurants and bars and markets, which is most famous is Portobello Market, which you definitely need to check out. So if you want a zone one location that offers you so much in terms of options, Notting Hill should definitely be on top of your list. Next up is Brixton. It's a very multicultural area with strong Caribbean roots, great food markets and local bars and entertainment. Brixton Village is a street market in the center of Brixton with over 100 restaurants, boutiques, fruit, and bed stands. Fabulous homes are throughout Brixton and you'll definitely get your choices from lower ground apartments to stately grand homes. Electric Avenue is one of the most famous streets. Built in the 1880s, it's one of the very first streets to have electricity. The song Electric Avenue was written by Eddie Grant referring to this area of the market. Another great reason professionals love Brixton is its public transport. The Victoria Line tube station ends at Brixton Station. There's loads of buses that will get you into central London and across London. The Windrush generation, the first group of Caribbean immigrants settled in Brixton back in the 1940s and 50s. The Black Cultural Archives is actually a phenomenal space for celebrating Black British culture. It's located at Windrush Square next to the Ritzy Cinema. And for green space, you've got the 125 acres of Brockwell Park. Now let's head south of the river where you've got Clapham, which is a lively young area of the capital. Clapham High Street is its main street with great bars, restaurants, and shops. Other great shopping is around Old Town, Abbeville Road, Clapham Road, and Nightingale Lane. Due to the recent regeneration taking place in the area, properties here are highly valued, especially among new professionals. You've got grand homes around Clapham Common and Old Town. Clapham Common in itself is 220 acres of green space crisscrossed by footpaths with three ponds, a Victorian bandstand, and a large number of mature trees. Clapham also has a great extensive transport network with loads of buses, two rail stations, one on the underground serviced by the Northern Line, and also part of the overground network. Let's head east and you've got Shoreditch, which is a hip and vibrant area that young professionals absolutely love. In the 16th century, Shoreditch was an important center of the Elizabeth Theater and it has been an important entertainment center since then. Today, it might be most famous for Brick Lane, which is its mainly curry houses and some of the city's best vintage shops. There's lots of transformation happening and now it's a major tech hub in London. Many new flats are being built in Shoreditch, making it a popular place to live. You'll find everything from some modern high-rise tower buildings offering great views and modern amenities to more classic homes dotted throughout. Throughout Shoreditch, you're gonna find some great restaurants and cafes as well. For transport, Shoreditch High Street Station is on the London Overground Network and Liverpool Station is nearby offering four tube lines and is part of the National Rail Network. And finally, we're in Camden. This lively North London neighborhood is very popular with young professionals because Camden Town has a huge range of music venues open to the early hours of the morning. Known for its many markets and its shops that attract millions of visitors every year, it's also really well liked for residences. It's home to one of the best universities in London, the University College London, UCL, and nearby Imperial College, both known for their innovation and excellence. Camden is serviced by the Northern Line and the Underground Network with a stop at Camden Town Tube Station and also on the Overground with the Camden Road Station. 
Regent's Canal runs through the north end of Camden Town and canal boats trips along this canal form part of the Camden Lock which is extremely popular. The southern tip borders the northern edge of Regent's Park with its 410 acres of green space and houses the London Zoo so after a stressful day it's definitely a great place to check out. And young professionals will have a mix of housing choices from converted terrace flats, many above shops, along with purpose-built buildings throughout.